Happy Friday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're in Mark chapter 4 as we continue our walk through the gospel of Mark. Uh, hey, let me ask you this. Have you ever bought something and then used it for a completely different purpose it wasn't designed for? Uh, I know I have. Uh, for instance, exercise equipment. You ever done this? Uh, you bought it to work out and get healthy and instead it becomes a clothes hanger in your bedroom? Or, or how about this? And, th and this is a, one of my wife's specialties. Uh, have you ever used a tape dispenser for a hammer, you know, because uh, she doesn't want to go out in the garage and get the hammer, she just grabs something heavy and uses it, and it can be lots of different things. Uh, well, you can argue that's kind of absurd. Uh, I mean, it's utilitarian, but it's absurd, and that's what Jesus is talking about today. Uh, Mark chapter 4, verse 21, Jesus said to them, is a lamp brought in to be put under a basket or under a bed and not on a stand? I don't think so. And then he goes on to say, For nothing is hidden except to be made manifest, nor is anything secret except to come to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. And Jesus said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and still more will be added to you. For the one who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. What is the purpose of the lamp? The lamp is to shed light. What is Jesus' purpose? Jesus' purpose is to shed light into our lives. Uh, th that lamp is to give light for the home, not to be hidden under the bed. Jesus' teaching is to give the light of truth so that you and I can know who God is, so that you and I can see ourselves from God's vantage point, and then understand the truth about us and change our lives to match the truth of God. You see, now, here's the uncomfortable part. God's truth exposes our secret sins. God's truth, it reveals our evil thoughts to us and, and shows us our impure motives. That, that's what Jesus is talking about. All these secret things are going to be revealed. They're going to be brought to light. You can't keep it hidden. You see, truth is radically and uncomfortable. Uh, it, it's radically uncomfortable and yet also freeing. Isn't that amazing? Truth is uncomfortable and freeing. Now, my experience growing up in church is that churches often unintentionally breed hypocrisy. We teach people how to play games and cover up their sins so they can look better than they are, all the while teaching truth. We often, uh, people in the pulpit will, will teach truth while we hide ourselves. We'll, we'll cloak our sins while we'll shine the light of God's truth on somebody else's sin. And that just breeds hypocrisy. In fact, Jesus says, no, it's going to be revealed. And, and I really believe that one of the reasons so many churches in America are, are struggling and dying is because of the practiced hypocrisy that is taking place where we are comfortable pointing out other people's sins, but we're not dealing with our own. And God's God's truth won't let that happen. Jesus says, no, you're going to reap what you sow. And so we don't just need to hear the truth, and we don't just need to teach the truth. We as followers of Jesus, we need to live the truth. We need to live the truth. It's not easy, it's not comfortable, but it will set you free. It will set you free. That's why here at Calvary, we confess. Yes, we confess our sins to God, because if we do that, John tells us he's faithful and righteous and will forgive us our sins and purify us of all unrighteousness. But we also confess our sins to each other. James said that if we confess our sins to one another and pray for each other, we'll experience healing. That's an amazing promise. And, and that's why we're not afraid of how much you've messed up. We invite you to join us in confessing that we are sinners, that we have failed. And that's why we also celebrate redemption. You see, uh, our, what we love is to hear the stories of how we failed, but we also continue those stories to how God redeemed, how God put our lives back together, how God has blessed through that, how God is using us as wounded healers to heal others. And it's a beautiful thing when we do that. And that's why here at Calvary, we believe that no matter how broken your story is, no matter how messed up your past is, that God can write a new chapter of your life with a happy ending. There's always hope for redemption. There's always an opportunity for a second chance with Jesus. And I want you to embrace the light of God's truth, no matter how uncomfortable, and allow that truth to change your heart and set you free. 
Have a great weekend, Calvary. God bless you, and I hope we'll see you this weekend.